Alright guys, as you guys can see, everything kind of messy here, but today real quick I want to share with you guys, yes, Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 running flawlessly with my AMD Ryzen Torch and I'll show you guys today. Now before that, let me give you guys a quick spec rundown. So I have here my test Ryzen Torch system here. So uh, the CPU I have in the system AMD Ryzen 7 2700 8 core 16 thread CPU. I have uh, Astrak X570 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. Uh, these are HyperX uh, 8GB RAMs 2133 just for testing purpose. And I have my XFX RX 5700 graphics card with the XT virus. And also recently I updated uh, the system with macOS Catalina 10.15.5. Uh, so update process was really simple basically i just uh, went to about this mac then uh software update right here and basically uh i downloaded uh mac os catalina 10.15.5 and this process took about like 30 to 40 minutes and that was it uh, system did uh reboot couple time and that's it you know the regular update went flawlessly now you guys can see here i have nova bench open so you guys can see here i have imac pro 1.1 uh the mac model and then the processor i have here md ryzen 7 2700 8 core processor 8 gigs of memory and i have radian rx 5700 xt graphics card like i said that's a rx 5700 with the xt virus so let's jump in and show you guys how premiere uh pro 2020 running let me open uh it will be premiere pro 2020 for you guys because i know that's the reason you guys clicked on this video and you guys want to see if this piece of software does work all right so i have one of my old video here just for testing purpose so you guys can see here i have one uh, recent project so let me open this All right, so you guys can see here I have the video here, and if I click on play, this is one of their active noise canceling Urban Traveler wireless Bluetooth headphones, so I can test and show you guys my thoughts. Does work? Uh, let me make it a little bigger, right? Like right here, because all right, all right. Now, uh, yeah, we can just go through the timeline, no problem. Okay. Now. Like I said, I don't really use Adobe Premiere uh, Pro for uh, my video uh, editing work purpose. I use Final Cut, so I'm not expert with this uh, piece of application. But you guys can see on left side, we have effect controls. We have limitry scopes for, I believe, color grading. And then we have uh, source audio clip mixer. We have learning. We have assembly. We have editing, color, effects audio graphics library all right so let's go back to editing here and let me show you guys let me go to file then go to project setting general here now under general we have video rendering and playback and we have render marker playback engine gpu acceleration metal recommended so yes the graphics working properly okay we do have metal support okay that's that if you click on that you have other option here open cl and the other option all right so we can close this and now let me open activity monitor let me just open this and keep this one here and oh we also have let me move all this this way all right and we also have uh, CPU history open here and we have CPU images open here. So now if we play the video. Not too bad, but I'm slightly disappointed because this headphone only comes in two colors. It's like only eight core, doesn't care. It's just, it's just 1080p video. <laughs> All right, so let me just uh, export this video, right? Let me go to file, how you do that? Okay, <laughs> export media. All right, and then go to video codec. Mm, Apple ProRes 422. How about Apple ProRes 422LT? Yes. Export. 
all right uh, exporting the video right now all right so you guys can see all 16 cores and threads working like working hard okay so adobe premiere uh, pro is utilizing our md ryzen 7 2708 core 16 thread cpu all right it's not freezing it's not lagging nothing uh, we can open uh, activity monitor here you guys can see utilizing right now user uh, 30 percent we still have 59 percent left here ideal all right you guys can see here again cpu history cpu users uh, not bad guys not bad all right guys so as you guys can see uh adobe premiere did export the video and also it did utilize our md ryzen 7 2700 cpus 8 core 16 thread so yes adobe premiere does work with md ryzen tosh if you guys do like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this see you guys next one peace